So iOS 11.3 is on the horizon. I'm pretty sure you guys are going to be able to update to this version. Maybe on Tuesday when Apple announced brand new stuff on Tuesday. Such as the new iPads. Um, possibly a new MacBook Air. All of that good stuff. But that's for another video. This is iOS 11.3 on the iPhone 6. How's the performance? Um, how did Apple, um, you know, handle the whole battery problem issue on this update? I meant to, you know, talk about all of that all in this video as well as the battery performance on this video too as well. Now, I just finished updating and I just got this prompt. So just to show you guys, up oh, there you go, update completed. Um, you have a data and privacy. So now this is a new icon on your status bar. So you're going to be able to see a status letting you know that this app is going to use your privacy, or your personal information. So, you know, a nice little touch letting you know that your privacy is being used or it's, you know what I mean? It's going to appear there. Terms and conditions. Yes, I agree. Now I want to talk about the features and then I'm going to talk about the battery performance towards the end of the video. Now, right away, the performance is improved. So... You know, everything's a nice little, you know, nice little speed to it. You know, obviously everything varies on your uh, your internet connection. Now, one thing you're going to notice right away, you're going to have some brand new splash pages. Um, of course, you have that icon, the privacy icon, which is going to appear on your status bar. Pretty much exactly the same thing, iOS 11 App Store. Nothing really too new. Now, the only new thing uh, is supposed to be here. You're supposed to see, like, the sizes of the update, but I can't. Oh, there it is. There it is. So you can see the size of the update. So if you have a 16 gigabyte iPhone, now you can see, okay, this is a gigabyte update. So I'm not going to do it. I'm going to save some space. And yeah, so now you can see that. So I feel like that should have been on iOS since day one or since the App Store launch. But hey, better late than never, I guess. You can actually tap on this um, action so you can see what's the top action uh, you know, app right now. So Fortnite and uh, PUBG is taking over the App Store right now. Um, so yeah, video on that coming soon though. All right, so now you have iCloud messages. So you're gonna see messages here, and basically all it is, everything is gonna pass through throughout your old devices. So iCloud messages, pretty cool. Um, everything is just gonna pass through. Now I thought it can do that already, but I guess not. Um, but yeah, that's iCloud messages. I guess if you have enough iCloud space, give it a shot. One annoying thing about iOS 11, which they did fix on iOS 11.3 is all your messages will be all over the place all scrambled so this is my brother here so everything will be out of place out of order so that is now fixed now another thing too you have businesses so you can contact Lowe's or you can text uh Home Depot the whole entire conversation and you can just chat with them am I gonna use that maybe I don't know next up you have AR AR is improved okay I don't know if you guys care about that now, even though AirPlay 2 and multi-room support is here on iOS 11.3, you cannot pair two HomePods together at once. Right, right now, you can't do that. Um, but I guess when it's Tuesday, when the official launch of iOS 11.3 release, this is the GM is pretty much done, but I think they just need to tick that on. It's like a switch maybe, and we could probably have that. But we have the prompts. They just need to enable it. I don't know why they're waiting, but hey, that's Apple for you. But I don't have two home pods, so it really don't matter to me. I'm always swiping up from the top because I have my iPhone 10. I'm really trying to get to the control center. Um, so if I 3D press that, you can see my home pod there. But yeah, I only have one home pod anyway. Now let's talk about the music application. Now the music, Apple made some improvements. Now very, very small changes. As you guys can see, a brand new um, splash screen for the music. Um, Ad-free listening. You have your notifications. Uh, not now. If you tap on the title of the um, song, it should come up with some prompts. Hold on. Why is it not working? All right, there we go. Because I guess I was there and I guess it didn't make sense. So as you guys can see, if I tap on this, you now have options on the bottom. Should you go to the artist Drake or should you go to the album Scary Hours? That's a that's a very, very handy feature because there's times when I'm playing you know, from a playlist and I want to get to the artist or I want to get to the album. Um, now you have a choice now. So now you can go to the album, and there it is, Scary Hours. Or I can go to Drake, and it just looks like that. Oh, I've never seen this before. This little three dots on the top. Okay, so you can follow Drake. You can create a station. You can share the artist. That wasn't there before. Sometimes when you're playing music, sometimes this lock screen gets stuck. Like this, the um, you know, the scrub bar. I think that's fixed on iOS 11.3, finally. Now, another thing they fixed, they actually fixed the calculator because there was something wrong with the calculator where 
if you type in like a number fast it's gonna it's gonna tell you the wrong calculation so if you do this fast i forgot how to do it all right because they fixed it okay i'm on the wrong update uh, I wish I could have showed you guys the before and after, but th there was times where in the calculator application, they'll give you the wrong calculation, but that is now fixed on iOS 11.3. So if you've been getting wrong calculations and you type it on the numbers too fast, you got to get the wrong, uh, the wrong thing. Man, that's crazy, man. Hearing all these changes and all these fixes that really had me thinking like iOS 11 is really one of the worst iOS's that I can remember. For real, iOS 6 was my favorite, but iOS 11... This is trash. This is unacceptable. This should have been the update that we should have got day one, to be honest with you guys. Um, next, I you know I just want to say this: HomeKit support. You no longer need like a special chip on the actual devices. So I have my my light bulbs here. So the LifeX. So I guess you no longer need like a a special chip that Apple requires you to have. Now everything is through software now. So that's a pretty handy feature for me because I use smart home products. Now. Now all that out the way, those are all the features that I can, you know, find. I'm pretty sure there's a lot more, a lot more stuff hidden. But most importantly, let's talk about the battery performance and let's talk about the performance in general and the, you know, I mean CPU throttling, throttling. I can't even say that word right, throttling, throttling. You guys get what I'm trying to say. So now if I go into settings, battery, now you can see a battery health. Now I'm pretty sure this battery health is pretty crappy because I had this phone since day one. So 92, not too bad. I thought it would be a lot lower. Um, and now your battery is currently supporting normal peak performance. Okay, so I guess my battery is pretty cool. 92 is not bad. And you have a new prompt on the top here that says uh, iPhone batteries, like all rechargeable batteries, are consumable components that have become less effective as they age. I didn't say that before. When it was iOS 10, it wasn't saying that. But hey, at least they they finally come up with something, because now if your if your phone is affected, if you have like a I don't know eighty or fifty or whatever, I think you can have an option where you can have the CPU, you know what I mean, becomes fast. It's gonna become like a new phone. Um, but my phone is good, ninety two percent battery health. It's not too bad, cause I had this phone since two thousand and fourteen when it first came out. Yeah, two thousand fourteen, and yeah, the fact that it was on ninety two percent, that's pretty good. But hopefully, iOS 12 will be a smooth start, a smooth update, you know what I mean? All the glitches, and of course, we're going to have glitches in the first, you know what I mean? First iOS, or the first version, but this was just bad, you know what I mean? And we finally have that improvement. Now, on for the battery test. Leave it like about half. I think that's pretty average. Um, and yeah. Hopefully the iPhone wins. So I want to apologize in advance for not having a timer next to me. Um, it, I don't know what I was thinking. I just put the camera on and I just had this iPhone on all night basically. So I started at 7.33 p.m. And you guys will be amazed on how long this iPhone survived. Now I think it's maybe because the battery health condition is at 92%. That's pretty damn good for an iPhone 6. I'm pretty sure most of you guys who, you know using the iPhone as a personal iPhone, you probably you probably have like about 80 or 70 or something like that. Um, if, if your iPhone is dying too quickly, maybe you want to get your battery replaced by Apple or maybe you could buy a third party uh, battery and replace it yourself. Um, but as you guys can see, 10, 10 o'clock right now, 10 p.m., the battery is at 74, 73. So yeah, so around the 70 zone. And I got to say, this thing lasts all night just to give you guys a little hint now another thing too i ended up flicking on and off the lights because i was watching some netflix i didn't want to have this the studio lights on all night so i was watching a little bit of netflix and then after a while i fell asleep so this camera was on throughout the whole entire night and i was using my iphone uh 10 so i couldn't use my phone it was on airplane mode and it was on the charger so the phone doesn't die and fun little fact i was shooting another video while this um, iPhone was recording so I needed my actual camera to record the booster board video you guys saw the other day um, so yeah so I'm you know I'm, I'm working my ass off you know I'm giving you guys videos left and right from different types and different kind of videos so you know subscribe if you haven't already man I think you'll love this channel if you're new around here so one o'clock in the morning as you guys can see there's a red I actually have my um, my light strips on behind the TV you know I, I just I like that immersiveness so now I realize the battery is only on 40%.
and it's 1 a.m. So I figured, you know what, let me play one of my videos and I actually have to swipe down so you guys can see the time and the battery progress. Um, and another thing too, why this uh, camera battery is lasting so long, there's no service. Now, I'm pretty sure you guys have a service enabled Sprint T-Mobile, so maybe you're gonna have to subtract some hours because you know, it's constantly looking for service if it's LTE, 3G. So maybe that might be the problem and Bluetooth is off too. So, hey, you know, my phone, this iPhone 6 lasts about nine hours. So from exactly 7.33 a.m. all the way to 5.10 in the morning, I was asleep and I actually had my light strips on all night because I fell asleep. I wanted to turn it off, but... It is what it is. So this thing, this thing was a tank. I must say, I was, I was shocked. I was shocked. But you know, you guys probably got to subtract maybe three hours because there's no service, or two hours. Um, that service thing really does matter. And almost forgot the Geekbench scores. Okay, the Geekbench. This is gonna give you an idea on how fast or how much of an improvement iOS 11.3 is on the iPhone 6. So I'm gonna run this quick little Geekbench score. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Of score of 1565 single core and 2688 multi core score. So, comparing that to iOS 11.2, so the last beta that I tested, so yeah, the last score, as you guys can see, yeah, so it's definitely improving. iOS is definitely improving from here on out. Another thing, too, I want to quickly run just a little performance test. Let me launch up YouTube. Right, that took a little long. That took a little long. I ain't gonna lie. Spotify. That was a little long too, but you know, I mean, I I can't forget. This is the iPhone six. Mario Run. Damn, this thing is taking forever. And you know, I, after using the iPhone 10, you know, I'm just so used to that speediness. Subway Surfer. Okay. Could be able to play. I say not really that much lag going on. Safari. Okay. So guys, there you have it. That concludes today's video. Should you update to iOS 11.3 if you have the iPhone 6? And I gotta say, hell yeah. You getting brand new features, performance is better, and the battery life is out of the world. You know what I mean? Definitely compare this video's battery test to the other previous versions. I don't know, compare it yourself. This version of iOS 11 should have been the beginning, and it should have been improving from here on out.